It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Ought to be a good one here between the Baltimore Orioles and the Minnesota Twins. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Jake Odorizzi gets the ball for the Twins in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, one thing to look out for him, Matt, is if he can avoid the big inning. It's not that big of a deal to give up a run here or there, but sometimes he can be prone to giving up three or four in an inning, and that kind of derails the whole start when that happens. Limit the damage, and he'll be just fine. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Villar. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Hit hard down the line. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, that's what the threat of getting a bunt down and the threat of speed does. It brings the third baseman in right there in too far to be able to react in time to that bullet down the line. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. The tank from Forsyth, and they get him at second base. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. One out, nobody on. Ball and two strikes to Adam Jones. And this is swung on and missed by Jones as he's down on strikes for the second out. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep but I'm telling you a good hit and run taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. Chased a sinker outside the strike zone. One and two. One and two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ori Alex Cobb, a Massachusetts born right hander, will get the start in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Alex Cobb and another of a long list of guys recovering and coming all the way back from Tommy John surgery. Not an overpowering pitcher. 92 to 94 miles an hour would sink. Good changeup, good curveball. He's a guy that needs to establish the strike zone early. He's not the kind of guy that's going to blow you away. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? A huge key I see for this lineup is they're going to have to make this defense work. They're not afraid to kick a baseball around. If they can put the ball in play and make this defense beat themselves, they don't even have to worry about running into a three-run homer. Line towards center field. Jones is there, two gone. Batting third. Up next for Minnesota, Eddie Rosario. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Cobb gets the sign. Here it is on 0 2. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Fouled away. 
Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Here's Chris Davis now. Previous meetings with Jake Odorizzi, he has seven hits in 33 at-bats. He's also hit three home runs. First pitch on its way. High and deep to center field. Cave facing back at the track. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. One pitch, one swing of the bat, and they've got a man in scoring position just like that. On the mound, he's probably happy it stayed in the yard. He jumped all over the first thing he saw and almost got to round the bases. Coming to the plate now, Trey Mancini. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Austin is over and he puts it away for the first down. Hey guys, let's take a look at the twins on defense. And when you talk about third base, you talk about a step and a dive. But you better have something to go with it when you get to your knees. And that's what this guy has. An absolute howitzer. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Ready with the 0-1. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. And here's Renato Nunez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. The 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. Nunez, a six-foot-one-inch right-handed swinger and thrower. He's a second-year big leaguer. Zero. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Odorizzi hails from the Prairie State of Illinois. He was a first-round pick during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So digging in now, Chance Cisco. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. You see a guy taking swings like this. I think as a pitcher right here, you've got to expand the zone even more. A pause and the 0-2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1-2. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High in the air out to center field. Cave moves over, and that ends the inning. Orioles strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Miguel Sano. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. 
Mancini is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And let's focus on Adam Jones. There's three things in this world that are guarantees. Death, taxes, and Adam Jones. You can pencil him in a buck 55 center field, 280, 25, and 80. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Digging in, Mitch Garver. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. 0-1, here's the pitch. And that one just missed outside. Breaking ball in for a strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. To two balls and two strikes now. And the fastball just a bit high. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. And another foul ball. Austin, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Andrioli racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. One ball, no strikes to count. Cobb comes set, 1-0 on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. I know the umpire balled that one right there, but it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive player, you've got to build that rapport with the umpire. He can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Full count with two outs now, so if he can put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Very weakly on the ground. That rolls foul, and they'll do it again. Count remains full. Here's a ball hit high down the right field line. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. So a two-run homer down the line in right field as the Twins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Well, that ball right there was right up in the happy zone. It doesn't take much to drive one out of the ballpark when you connect on a high pitch like that. The backspin carried that one right out of here. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But this will be a foul ball. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. But two-run score for the Twins, both coming on this two-run home run. We've played two. It's now 2-0 Minnesota. Welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from St. Pete, Florida. Nice look there at nearby Clearwater. Stepping in, John Andrioli, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Striding in, Jonathan Villar. He singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. There's a strike. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back. 
but I think he might throw it here. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jonathan Villar goes down for out number two in the top half. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Oh now here's a drive out to the alley. Jones around first thinking two here. And he is in the second with a two out double. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love and as you see it it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Here's Mark Trumbo now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Jones at second with two down. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike in the inning. The next twin up, Logan Forsythe. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Just missed with a breaking ball. I got to count one and two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Here now the 2 2. Chopped weakly to the left. And a good throw gets him one gun. So here's Joe Maurer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball chopped foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. So he got him swinging. Joe Maurer becomes out number two this inning. Cobb into the windup. Here he comes 0 and 1. Hold high in the air out to right field. Andrioli moves over. And that retires the side. Twins are set down 1, 2, 3. They're up 2 to nothing. Here's Chris Davis now. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, He's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. The one two. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. And here's the big right handed power threat Trey Mancini. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes. Hit hard to short. Polanco comes up with it. And that's the second out. The batter, number one. Into the box. Tim Beckham. He reached on a single in his first try. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. The next 0 2. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're still down. It's 2 0. Digging in for his second at bat. Eddie Rosario comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Ball. Two and one. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on and grounded to second. VR loves it. And that's the first down. How about it? So here's the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes? Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Riding in once again, Tyler Austin. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Andrioli is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order, but they hold a 2-0 lead. And here's Renato Nunez. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ready now for Baltimore. Chance Cisco flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. This one's flared out toward left. In there, a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now. John Andrioli as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1 so far 0 for 1 with a fly out down the third baseline Forsyth relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired Now batting, Mitch Garver flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Jones is after it. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And there's one away now. Ready to take his hacks again, Jake Cave, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Jones is under it. 
He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Striding into the box, Jorge Polanco. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Fastball too high, and it's 1 0. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Counts even two and two for Polanco. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. And that misses. So after getting two outs with three pitches, he's gone full to the third hitter here. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Well, At the plate, Morgan Forsythe. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Polanco, the runner at first with two gone. Way outside. One and two. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Jonathan Villar, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. He doubled his last time through. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. Austin is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batter. Next will be the designated hitter, Mark Trumbo. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. A swing by Trumbo and a drive to left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a solo home run off the bat of Mark Trumbo. As the Orioles have cut into the deficit, it's now a two to one ball game. Now, I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Here's Chris Davis now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Orioles draw closer on the home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the Twins, two, and the Orioles, one.
Now it would be the Minnesota DH. Joe Mauer. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 2 now as Mauer can't come up with anything on that swing. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Hit on the ground out to short. Beckham scoops it up. And Beckham's throw is in time at first, one away. Up next for the win. Now at the plate, Max Kepler. Oh, for two for him to this point. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. High pop up. Cisco shading to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he fouls this one off. Cobb looks in. Here's the 0 1. Way out in front. Two runs on two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Hard on the ground towards short. Low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Now batting. Very patient. Here's Miguel Sano. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball just a bit up. And that one just missed outside. Not the ideal spot to be right here. 2 0 count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing the ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. The five, six, and seven hitters to start the seventh. It's now four to one in favor of the Twins. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete, Twins on top in this one as we take a look now at our game summary through the first six innings of play. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Now, some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right hander are up to throw. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kepler's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the O's. In now for the O's. Tim Beckham, one for two in the ball game thus far. Hit hard back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. And here's Renato Nunez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. Austin is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Standing in, Chance Cisco. It was a single for him in his last at bat. 
First pitch on its way. In the dirt here. Poor base running there. Got him caught in a hot box between first and second. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. Stepping in, Mitch Garver. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he lays off there, 1-0. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. From the stretch. Fouled off. Garver gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hey. Fastball got him looking. As that had two seam action on it. One gone. Ready for another chance. Jorge Polanco. It was a walk in his last trip. Jorge lays off 1-0. Flyer. A native Floridian. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2008 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy. Drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The one-two. A little bouncer, but that one rolls foul. Runner at first here, one man out. Two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. And here's Davis to tuck it in, and there are two gone now. The batter. Digging in. Logan Forsythe. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. 0 and 1 to count. Here comes the 0 1. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. A oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Forsythe has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting. Stepping number into the box, John Andrioli. He was a double play victim last time around. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also, the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. The 1-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in. Jonathan VR. Two away here in the eighth and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Jace Peterson will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So that'll extend the inning and give Adam Jones a chance. 
Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Standing in now, Adam Jones. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Orioles. Jason Peterson will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Joe Maurer. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Owen oh 2 to Joe Maurer. Hey, he caught him off guard right there. I like that pitch. High fastball executed. I know he's known for the sinker ball, but if he can get some eye levels up and down, he's going to have some success. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now in the box, Max Kepler. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. So coming to the plate, Eddie Rosario. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Hit hard, but foul. Ready on one and two. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Trevor Hildenberger comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Mark Trumbo will stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Liner towards second. And there's a base hit as well as that's into center field. Two straight hits to kick off the ninth. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Hugh? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here. Bust through in this one. Number three will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Set and the 0-1. Swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Trumbull at second. Davis on at first with nobody out. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Stepping up now, Tim Beckham. Tim Beckham.
first pitch on its way. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. And here's Renato Nunez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Caleb Joseph will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And the score finishes 4-1 to today. The Twins took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jake Odorizzi takes home the win. Alex Cobb pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for my partners Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the Victorian Twins. Four runs on three hits. No errors. We left two men on base. For the Orioles, one run on ten hits. One error. They left eight runners on base. The winning pitcher is Jake Odorizzi. Velasco's goes to Alex Cobb. Time of the ball game, two hours and 52 minutes. Again, we remind you for your next trip to Tropicana Field that all vehicles with four or more passengers receive free parking all season long. Also, a reminder that extra PSTA buses for routes 18, 32, and 74 can be picked up outside the stadium.